Well, I think it started with the idea that a boat could be a truly SUV on the water. The first time that you see people interact with something that's in full-scale plywood, um, you know, they can start to see where things re spatially uh, come into 3D into their world where they can start to understand it. We took certain things and said, you know, should it be a an F-150, um, or should it be a Jeep, you know, or a Land Rover? Um, and then we sort of said, well, it's got to be all of those. <laughs> the differences of textures and materials and fiberglass and the play of, you know, what teak does here and how it intersects with a composite material here and how that all blends to give you a, a finished package like we sit on it as a boat. Um, I think that's when people really start to kind of be able to resonate, be able to have relevance to what you're doing. So where the coupe had indoor-outdoor space, now the Q series is purely about uh, entertaining, uh, sociability, um, really enjoying the outdoor space. So it's, a, it's an extension of the thinking that we, uh, that, we, that we had from the coupe, but we wanted to take it to really the day boat or the day yacht uh, marketplace. Well, I think one of the features that you hear the walls, the wall factor, is the sliding, sliding door, the push button sliding door. Uh, it just makes the boat so more useful. Uh, I know there was some talk about it of not having them, and I said right from the very beginning it needs to have two sliding doors with the ability of two couples sitting forward. We've also equipped the boat to, uh, to bring along toys, to bring along uh, adventure items that, uh, uh, with the kayaks and the paddle boards so that uh, they can be enjoyed once you get to your favorite spot. It becomes an island, almost an adventure island, with people having that ability to, to, uh, to paddle around and enjoy their family and their friends. The Q44 came from a, really an observation of the marketplace where we understand that the heads and beds below that we really uh, uh, pursued on the coops, we could take that really a step further and uh, enjoy outdoor space once you come up from that private area. Well, my first time on the boat, a pretty length of time, will be a, a cruise up to Drummond Island. It's always been a favorite spot for the family. Uh, we've always used that as our ultimate goal of spending a week or two. And any time that you can spend time up there, it's a two-day journey up there. Three is probably more comfortable, but um, once you're there, it's, there's so many other activities that you enjoy, just the uh, surroundings, because it's, uh, oh, it's, it's kind of a little bit of a wilderness in fresh water about 20 miles wide and probably 150 miles long. So with nature, really nature, right? You hear nature, you hear nature. That's just something about it. Um, and our family spent uh, many weeks up there and just enjoying boating. So uh, I'm looking forward to the trip, so. And as we know, boating is one of those things that's a very emotional thing, being on the water, enjoying the water, enjoying the sun, enjoying your family, enjoying good food. There's a lot of emotional pieces that you're playing into and this boat does a great job of pulling all those things together and making it an emotionally centric piece to that love affair with the water. You know we wanted the boat to be a nice rugged feel and yet it had to represent here. Uh, too far one way or the other I think would have been a little bit push for some people. Although, you know, we all have ideas of what a, something we like should look like. But uh, I think our goal was that it would hit the sweet spot. And I think we've accomplished that. Whenever, what I hear from people that have been on the boat, they, they're thoroughly surprised and excited afterwards. And they know the difference of the boating that they have done and the boating that they experience they get 
on this end. It's just, to them, it's just been a very fun experience.